Hey guys, this tutorial assumes you already have set up the ace glitch. I made a separate video for that where you can follow along step by step. Once you have done that, you will unlock the ability to do anything in the game, including what you will see in this video. Check out my playlist for more. This can be done on the physical copy of the game on a Game Boy or DS, or on an emulator for the PC or phone. It requires no third-party programs or cheating devices. Credits for this glitch goes to Merp and Slipenear17 for making a list of codes for this glitch. Enjoy! Alright, so the fast code execution method is recommended if you are doing multiple codes in the game um, as you don't have to hatch the dots egg anymore. So um, instead we're just going to be opening a summary of the Pokemon and it executes the code. So to start this up you're gonna start with a dots egg first in your party uh, like we do with any other dots um, ace code. And you're actually gonna need the original dots that you got from trade in Rustboro City. Uh, it doesn't matter if this one has been trained or not, just put it in slot 19 in box 10. That's very, very important. So then we're going to be starting from box one and we're gonna enter some codes. Feel free to slow down or pause the video. Once we're done, you can see that we don't put any code into box 14. Um, that is uh, on purpose because we don't put a, we don't actually need anything in that box. Once you're done, you're gonna save the game before hatching this egg. In case anything goes wrong, you could start from there and fix the errors in your codes. If you crash after hatching, that is a very good indication that you typed your code wrong. If everything goes right, you should see a deco mark like this in any color, and uh, you should be teleported outside of the Slateport City Pokemon Center. Once you come back in, we are going to go ahead and uh, delete this hatched dots through the deposit mode, very important. And once we have released it, you should no longer crash. If you look at it through any other method or through the move Pokemon, you're going to crash. So don't do that. Uh, you go back into the PC, you'll see that the dots has now become a question mark. But don't look at it, it's going to crash your game. Now what you want to do is you want to get a random Pokemon that you don't care about. It, you can either catch it or just take an existing Pokemon from your PC. And we're going to go to the Name Raider here in Slateport City. 
um, and we're going to nickname it a very specific uh, code here. So just copy the following code. Now this Pokemon that we just named will be placed to the right of the question mark that is now in uh, slot 19 of box 10. And it's very important that you put it right next to it, so to the right of the question mark. Um, and again, don't look at the question mark, don't hover over it, don't do anything, because um, uh, it will crash. Once you've put your Pokemon that you've named next to your question mark, you're now ready to put in some new codes. For this particular code, we're going to stop at box 10. So we only have 10 boxes of code to write. So I didn't do it here, but I highly recommend saving the game before looking at your dots summary in case you typed anything wrong. All right, so you can see now that we once we've done all the 10 codes, you can now look at the summary of the question mark. If successful, you'll be teleported outside of the Pokemon Center. And when you come back in, you'll see that your Pokemon has turned into a bad egg. Now you're going to put this bad egg in box 13, and this is where uh, this egg has to stay for your ace codes to work when you look at the summary of um, of your um, new dots stable version. So um, to test if all of this worked, we are going to enter a new code. We're actually going to try the fast item cloning um, glitch or code. So I'm going to write in this code and I'll see you right after. Thank you. 
Once again, when I'm done with the code, I save the game. Now for this particular code, we uh, before we hatch, or you know, where we would normally hatch the egg, in this case we would now um, just look at the summary of our stable version. But for this code, we have to do a, a little bit of a setup first because to clone an item here we have to deposit an item into your PC at the little root town. In this case I'm cloning my rare candy here. So you deposit it in and then you have to press select and then move it all the way up. Um, because only the first item in the list will be cloned once you look at the summary of your dots. So you will be teleported to the previous Pokemon Center and once you come back you will see that your or hopefully you will see that your first item has a question mark 35 as the uh, quantity here and that means it worked su successfully. So you might wonder how many items you get when it says question mark 35 and the answer is 65,535. Here you see I also cloned my Master Ball now, and uh, yeah, it's really a really good method because combining this with the um, the stable version of the dots, we are able to just simply keep executing the code over and over very quickly without having to hatch an egg. So there you go, that's the tutorial, and um, if you have any questions, comment down below or visit my Discord channel linked in the description, and good luck!